Another topic, we're going to take a slight tangent here and talk about tech and technology in the aviation industry. And as you've mentioned there, where things do take time for things to change within the industry, but it's almost impossible to have an interview about any topic and not mention AI and its influence in a various number of, uh, you know, segments of various industries. How do you see AI influencing aviation today and how will that develop looking into the future? You know, aviation uh, is a very conservative industry because of the flight safety. Still, uh, aircraft, one year operation is a box of documents, physical paper documents. And it's impossible to agree between the OEMs, authorities, airlines, different jurisdictions, that it would become paperless. So 20 years aircraft is a 20 boxes of documents. So it's probably uh, shows uh, how this industry is, is still heavily, heavily supervised and changes are very slow. But what we're talking about flight safety. But we have a commercial part of the commercial part of the airline companies planning, revenue management, uh, routing, supply of spare parts, organizing, logistic, and many 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 things. And AI coming in our organization, uh, we have several pilot projects starting from the from the data which we have, and mainly mainly su supplies and 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 things surrounding that. It's a super supervised industry. We will be very careful, very precise. But believe me, we are one of the youngest uh, organization by the age of management in entire global ecosystem. So we like innovations, and if we will be able to implement, we'll be we'll be one of the first. Still on the topic of innovation, you have other trends in addition to AI, such as supersonic travel urban air mobility, EV tolls, uh, hydrogen powered engines, some of them projected to be entering the industry within the next five years and within the decade. How do you see that affecting the way air travel happens today? And on and as an expansion on the tech topic, do you see the group venturing a little bit more into some tech spaces? Uh, we will use AI, of course, uh, in our operations. Uh, we would not risk investors money to to do some opportunistic or venture in ventures investment will remain an uh, organization which will keep educating market about uh, leveraging and managing capacity se on a seasonal basis. Of course, ECG requirements, environmental, social, and governments uh, is very important in, in, in our ecosystem. And uh, we are uh, developing uh, currently on feasibility st study basis uh, synthetic SAP production plant in Liepaja, Latvia. To the, together with local partners, we acquired uh, existing uh, existing uh, storage facilities, sizable, 18 hectares. And together with the one USA company, we're working on the potential technology. It's not regular sustainable aviation fuel produced from cooked oils or, or, or fats or, or biomasses. It's, 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 it's something new, CO2. Uh, captured CO2 and, uh, and, and, and methanol and uh, green hydrogen, still very new technology, still not unclear what is the, what is the role of sustainable uh, uh, synthetic avia fuel will be in the near future, even though there is no benchmark of the pricing. So, but we're, we're talking about uh, second level of the second level of SAF. Uh, so we will be, uh, we will be uh, paying our time and, 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 and investment uh, to be in compliance with the ECG requirements in that field. Uh, about new technology, new technology aircraft, if our customers would use them, definitely will follow. Our, aircraft, our customers uh, gave us a sign that we want newer technology aircraft, uh, Boeing 737 Maxes. So we started to operate uh, uh, up to 10 Maxes. And after one half year operation, we placed an order. Uh, if our customers would say we would like to use fuel or something else, and if it is seasonality driven, if it is not driven some uh, demand by some other measurements or metrics, then definitely we'll follow our request of our customers. But till now, we have a lot of job to do in our traditional commercialization space.